I think the most dangerous consensus we see globally is um, the belief, particularly in the US, that inflation is going to stay benign. If you look at broker forecasts for CPI, it stays at around high ones, maybe 2% over the next three years. And when you think about how far into the economic cycle we are, where unemployment's gone from high single digits down to 4%, uh, with a backdrop of rising oil prices, rising commodity prices, um, you've got monetary policy and fiscal policy extremely expansionary, even though we're at almost full employment, I think you're going to start to see wages increase and you're going to see um, inflation tick up over time. And that's going to have really profound implications for investors in terms of which sectors and which asset classes you want to be exposed to. I guess the way we think about minimising losses in the portfolio, um, there's probably three aspects to think of. The first one is when we buy a stock, we want to think about in a sell-off, how is this stock going to hold up? What are the, th what are the risks to this company in a, in a difficult environment? And often the risks are around the balance sheet or the industry structure or the operating trends. And effectively, by having a company that has a good balance sheet, it's undergeared or net cash, you know they won't need to do an emergency capital raising. You know they won't breach debt covenants. Um, the industry structure, obviously in a downturn in a competitive sector, you're going to get lots of competition. You're going to get prices falling. You're going to get irrational behaviour. If you're in a monopoly or duopoly situation, you're much more likely to get through that period fine. Um, and secondly, on the shorts, we think that companies that are overgeared or have risky balance sheets are much more vulnerable to a market sell-off than those companies that are conservatively geared. And secondly, in terms of industry structure, a lot of the companies that we would look at as a short typically have very um, unfriendly industry structures where they might be a smaller player or they might have a lot of competitors that are going to cause trouble in a downturn. Lastly, it's about the product design. So the way that we designed our product was to provide roughly half the market risk of the index. So essentially in a sell-off, regardless of our stock picking, we're going to have a lot less market exposure and therefore that'll cushion downside um, in a market that's um, falling.